Implantation Bleeding, Questions and Answers Hello everyone. Once again bring you greetings from us to all great women in the world. This is What Women Want channel, where we talk anything and everything about women's health. During pregnancy, your body goes through all kinds of changes. Some are real and expected, like a growing belly or the stoppage of your menstrual cycle. But did you know that very early on, you may experience some bleeding that could be mistaken for your period? This is called implantation bleeding. To learn what implantation bleeding is, and when you should be concerned, here are some questions and answers related to it. 1. What is implantation bleeding? Implantation bleeding is light spotting or minor bleeding that occurs when the fertilized egg, a group of rapidly dividing cells called a blastocyst, attaches to the lining of the uterus. 2. When does implantation bleeding occur? Sometimes you may experience some bleeding or spotting due to implantation about one to two weeks after fertilization, or around the same time as the time you normally expect your period. Three, how can I tell the difference between implantation bleeding and my period? Implantation bleeding is very light when compared to the bleeding you get during your period. The main difference you need to pay attention to is the amount of blood you see in the stain. So what exactly does implantation bleeding look like? When you have implantation bleeding, you will most likely see small drops of blood on your underwear that do not even cover a panty liner. Sometimes, implantation bleeding may also be brown or light pink. But you cannot be sure if bleeding of any kind, of any color, in early pregnancy is harmless. If you are concerned, see your doctor. 4. What are the signs and symptoms of implantation bleeding? You may experience a few drops of blood and mild cramping for about a day around the time of implantation, you may not even know you are pregnant when this happens. Then again, it's also common not to have one. However you may have other early signs of pregnancy, like, fatigue, nausea, tender breasts, frequent urination, cravings or reluctance. 5. How much bleeding is safe during implantation? Most of the time, implantation bleeding does not signal a problem. However, if you notice blood and are concerned, see a doctor because there is no way to know how much bleeding is safe if you are pregnant. 6. How long does implantation bleeding last and how heavy is the bleeding? Implantation bleeding should be just a light spotting, just a few drops of blood which can last for a few days. Seven, how long after implantation bleeding can I take a pregnancy test? You can get the test done right away. If you have not done it before, especially since implantation bleeding usually occurs around the time you expect to have your period. Some pregnancy tests are sensitive enough to detect the hormone HCG in your urine 6 days before your missed period or 5 days before your expected period. If you test too soon, you may get a false negative result, as the amount of HCG may be too low, to detect, even if you are pregnant. If you get a negative result, but you still think you are pregnant, wait 3 days before testing again. HCG rises rapidly in early pregnancy, so by then you will see a positive result if you are pregnant. 8. Does every woman get implantation bleeding? No. Bleeding only occurs in 15-25% to of first early pregnancies. In most cases, spotting is a normal sign of implantation, but any bleeding should be checked if you are concerned, as it could still be a symptom of miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. 9. Where do you feel implantation cramps? 
Implantation takes place anywhere between 6 and 12 days after you ovulate. It most commonly occurs 8 to 9 days after fertilization. So the exact date of implantation can depend on when you ovulated, and whether fertilization occurred early or late in the ovulation window. 10. Is it okay to take a bath during implantation? It's fine to take baths while you are pregnant, as long as the water is not too hot. High temperatures, mainly early in pregnancy, have been associated with increased risk of neural tube defects. 11. What happens to your body after implantation bleeding? Implant bleeding specially lasts 2 to 7 days. You can wear a panty liner to catch any spotting or discharge that may occur in the days after implantation. The hormonal shifts that happen from implantation may cause cramping or light pressure in your abdomen. Usually, implantation bleeding is nothing to worry about. The probability is you may not even know you're pregnant. If you notice spotting around your due date, and you suspect you are pregnant, take a pregnancy test. If you are pregnant, talk to your doctor and mention any bleeding you are experiencing, so that other factors can be ruled out.